Hey, Dick Maniacs, welcome back to another Vault Launch. I know you already saw us this morning for digital instructions, but we're back again and with more stuff on our table. Wow, this, yeah. is, this is like about as decked out as this table's gotten. This is a full vault. So not only do we have some display models that are going to be available, but we also have some discontinued still boxed up kits that are going to be available and minifigs mm -hmm. that will also be available, available. Uh, available, available. available. Remember, all of these go live tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. CDT on BrickMania.com. Check the vault category, sign up for our email to have the link sent to your inbox. Otherwise, there'll be a blog post as well and social media, etc. But here you have it. Here's the lineup. So let's run down real quick. We'll start with the ones that are actually display models. So we have the IS2. Mm -hmm. We have the half track with the meat chopper oh, add-on. Got to have that. So awesome. Yeah. That's such a great kit. <laughs> like, honestly, just the overall a half track, are, they're just nuts in and of themselves. Mm -hmm. Then you just add this. Holy crap. Excessively awesome. The weasel sitting next to it. Then this is the universal carrier. Super Sherman and the M40 motor carriage. So all of those in the vault right now. Remember, they come with all of their instructions, price cards, etc. The minifigures that you see here included, and a signed certificate by Dan Siskin, letting you know that you uh, you help support Brickmania and got usually the last version of of these kits that are available from our from our retail locations. So there you have it. This is the lineup. What's your favorite, Landon? Oh man, I'm I'm liking the uh, the Super Sherman. No. No, Super Sherman is sweet. <laughs> okay. Absolutely awesome. You gotta love a chance to get a hold of these, uh, the, the whole dark tan model. So obviously last week we did just put this out on digital instructions, so you can try to grab your own. But this one comes with all of the elements that you would need, along with that minifigure, and it's already built and ready to go for you. So if this one was high on your priority list and you missed out on the initial batch, now you've got a chance to grab one of the official display models and, you know, have a Sherman with a little extra cred, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Really stands out in the collection. It's a cool piece. Yeah, it really, really does. And it's just so tall. I mean, look at it next yeah. to that M40 <laughs> in scale like that. I mean, that's... This guy's like, what are you doing up there? Why are you so, why are you so high up? And he's like, shh, I got a sweet muzzle brake. I'm driving away. That's, that's exactly... That was the exchange. It's real life. Mm -hmm. Historically accurate. Yeah. Um, Both of these actually fought next to each other in the Great Emu War in Australia. That might have been true, actually. That's, that's <laughs> perhaps why they lost against the emus. Darn tactical birds. Okay, moving on from there. We do, well, we'll save the minifigures for last because I do want to go over these real quick. So we got some extra sealed box kits. These are going to go together. These are going to be one. One? Because okay. I don't want to just put the add-on pack up. No, you got Yeah, that's You need cool. the Sherman to build this anyways, and so, like, together. That'll be a side after one. Yeah. Nice. The crab. Such, so crazy <laughs> looking. Absolutely yeah. awesome. I saw somebody motorize it in a diorama. It was crazy. And now we want to see you motorize it in a diorama. With but yeah. This exact one. M4 um, Sherman crab add-on. What do you have over there? Stuka. JU87. Wait, where's a good spot for your camera guy? JU87. Stuka. Inbox. Brand new. Mm -hmm. SB2C Helldiver. Big, big airplane. Actually, both of those are big kits. Yes. Both of those are, are very big In deceptively builds. tiny boxes. In deceptively tiny. But yeah, it's not like Lego where there's a ton of like this like, shake. Like. This thing is... Right, exactly. They're solid. The brick. You can Some, still kind of tell if you got it under the tree. Sometimes there are a few kits that do not shake. At all. Like there's, you can't even hear that there's bricks in them. It's just... This, oh, this one's close. Not quite. Close. Got a bit more shake to it. Mm-hmm. Okay, similar, similar. Oh, that uh, one I shook extra hard. You shook it. That was yeah. that was unfair. Scrapyard steward for the sci-fi people. We've got, I, we're running out. I don't know how many of these we got left. We toss them in the vault every once in a while. So there you have it. A chance to pick this up if you're a Tank Girl fan. If you're not, you should be. Watch the movie. Check out the comic books. It is a cool little series. The amount of UV printing on this thing is absolutely insane, and it's got a detailed interior, and it's got a flip-up Gatling guns, and it has opening hatches and a barbecue. And a barbecue and a etch a sketch it's on the inside. Sketch a stud. Sketch a stud. Sketch a stud. Non copy out inf infringing sketch a stud. Indeed. That's Indeed. in that kit, right? Yeah. I'm not making that up. Are you making it up? No, no. it's in this kit. You're no, good. it's in the kit. That's the rarest printed element in ever. the world. Known to man. I'm gonna stand by that. Fact check me, please. <laughs> Fact Co check. Comment something in the comments if you want to comment something. In the comments. In the comments. What's next, Dylan? Well. 
we went over these, so now it's your turn. Some figures? Yeah, let's talk about some uh, minifigs. On the rotation table here, we have some lerps. Before we get too far to that, Ugh. I'm sorry. These guys will have their printed weapons. Ooh. These guys will have their printed helmets. They're just still being worked on. So, don't worry. We'll have all we, the stuff. We're short a few helmets. They'll be complete. And actually, we do have some more lerps as well. We're just waiting on the boonie hats. We're just waiting on the hats, exactly. So there will be a little bit more than what you see here, but not much. And remember, it's limit one figure per person. Per so some actually, lerps period. here. Let's get these guys closer up so you can get a nice view. Um, some really intense camo going on there. That tiger stripe is something else. Mm -hmm. uh, decked out with a huge load out there, so. Pick one up. Ready to be deep in the jungle. <clears throat> deep in the jungle. Uh, Modern Israeli soldier. Yes, uh, nice simple uniform and load out there. Um, I like how Israel, they're, they don't really have a camouflage pattern. They've been like trying to maybe, maybe issue Nail one. one down. Mm -hmm. But Olive works really well. And you know, they're a highly effective force. So why, why change something that's working, I guess? Yeah. So, I olive. like the two different areas of figs. Like like we said, we don't have like a ton of of mini figures to add to the vault, so we're not going to be doing it quite like kits, where it's like five or six different kinds at a time. What we're going to shoot for is ones that have multiple copies for people to get. So we got two different figures in here, a couple of copies, so people can get get their hands on those and have a have a discontinued mini figure that uh, looks right out of the package. Plus, you get that cool little vault backing card that you sign and you know, a little special clamshell. Nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a fun little collectible piece. So. Nice to see this size of a lineup. There you have it. Remember, 8 a.m. tomorrow. Use that BKM vault tab under the shop icon on brickmania.com. Don't be late. Only one of everything, minus the minifigures. Anything else you want to add? Uh, nope. Cool. Nothing. We'll see you on Friday.